What's up guys? Welcome back to a Ninja Scratch tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to add an um, enemy AI into your games. Well, this was actually a um, request from one of my subscribers, um, so I'll teach this right now. First I'll rename um, my um, project, I'll call it um, enemy AI. So what we're going to be programming today, um, it should be applicable for whatever platform or script you use. Um, you see here, this is a um, platform script that is adapted from a really easy platform script. Um, but um, it should work with all types of platformers. Okay, great. Now we're going to create a new sprite. We're going to call this enemy. Oh yeah, we should call this player too. Player, and let's delete these cat files. Great. And we are going to draw a red cube for the enemy because usually red symbolizes um bad like lava so if you hold shift you can draw a perfect square and let's align it in the middle great same now convert to bitmap because i like bitmap um now we're going to program the actual thing first we're going to create a custom block we're going to call it clone act x x and why why you don't have to click one around screen refresh click on okay save now then we're going to say go to x x y y save now and we are going to create a clone of myself next we're going to say when i start as a clone we want to make the enemy have gravity right so we can use the similar scripts here from our player. Let me just drag it in here. Oh. Um, we can trash that. We're going to say forever. Make a new custom block. We're going to call this clone physics. Um, click on run it out screen refresh. Click on OK. Then we're going to patch this in. We're going to say change Y by negative 1 because this is also the gravity that we used in our player sprite. If touching level, then um, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yes. And we also have to say change Y by Y though. So you see now if we test it out. Um, oh, yeah. When we change point forever. Great. Let's try it. Boom. So now our clone can actually, um, you know, fall down and collide with the ground. So... Let's put a random value here, let's say 50, and let's say 100. Great! Now, we're going to code in our cone x movement, right? So we're also going to create a variable, let's call this xvel. Um, click on OK, great. Now we're going to say, we're going to change our x by, um, Xvel. Um, actually, let's put this here. We want Xvel to be a value, right? So if Xvel is larger, then the enemy will move faster. And if Xvel is less, then the enemy will move slower. So what we're going to do is that we're going to click here. We're going to right click, um, click on edit. We're going to say speed. So this will determine the speed of our of enemy. So we're going to call this X. Okay, then we're going to say we're going to set our Xvel to the x here and create a clone myself then our clone will be creating i'm um, changing x by x bell right finally um we want to make it switch sides at a wall right so you see currently we have a clone um does it move because our speed is zero right but if we put in let's say two oh sorry we put in two click on that it moves at two pixels right and it kind of glitches up a wall well, that's because we don't have slope detection yet, right? So, um, let's, oh, I just deleted that. So, we're just going to say, um, if touching level, then we are going to, um, change y by 1. So this will be slope detection. This will help if your enemy is like at a slope, because if it's at a slope, 
it kind of glitches because it doesn't know if it's a wall or um, not, right? So, um, anyway, let's do that. Um, this is basically the same script we have in our player. It's also our slip detection here. So, um, let's make this six. Then, we're gonna stick it right here. Yes, and we're going to finally say, if we are touching our level, then we're going to um, go in our player, drag in this part. Boom, these are all like collision scripts. So wh what whatever platform script you're using, just find the collision script and um, pop it in here. Yep, that should do it. And then we're not gonna set XFL to zero. We're gonna set XFL to zero um, minus XFL. What this will do will that it will, it's gonna convert XFL to um, the opposite. For example, if XFL was five, then zero minus five would equal to negative five, so it would go the other way. And if XFL was negative five, zero minus negative five equals five. Um, you can check that on the calculator. <laughs> um, let's stick it in there, and that should do it. So if we try creating a clone now, clones here. And it moves back. Well, you can see that it kind of um, goes up a bit, right? Well, that's why we haven't, because we haven't offsetted our um, Y um, blocks here first. So we're going to say negative six here. And if you see now, our clone perfectly stops at a wall and goes to the other direction. Um, yeah. And um, if you wanted to jump, you can even say, let's say, um, set. YVL to actually we can just put it here. Now our clone is jumping. Um, yeah, I think I pretty much, I quite like it. And you have to remember that you want to um, hide our um, enemy, right? So when clicked, oh, oh yeah, when clicked, we are going to hide, and we're going to create a clone here. So if I click. Um, oh yeah, when I start as a clone, we have to show too, right? So, boom, there's our um, jumping enemy. He's coming. Oh my god, he's coming for me. Well, he doesn't actually kill me yet, so um, we're going to code in that too. We are going to say, if we are touching our enemy, then we are going to, let's say, stop all or respawn if you have that in your platformer. So now... Um, enemies there. Ouch. The end. Whoa, this guy's actually hard. No. Okay, you know what? The enemy's way too OP, so I'm just gonna make that a zero for, um, you know, the difficulty. For the sake of this tutorial. Anyway, um, that's it for this tutorial. Um, feel free to customize this enemy any way you want. Uh, maybe you can try adding in a um, effect where if a player jumps onto an enemy, it'll kill it. But obviously... Um, ours doesn't yet, but this is a basic um, enemy script, um, very basic, not too much. It's basically just our platform script, but applied to a clone. Um, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Scratch tutorials.